Hey, hey, good day everyone. I'm Sandra Adewumi for those of you who don't know me and welcome to my channel. Okay, and first of all, say for gift to her. I've had a twist in like eight weeks and I think I'm loving it. Okay, all right, so I'll just go straight to the point, okay? I decided to share this video because recently someone reached out to me on here pretty freaked out about what she was experiencing with her locks and um, and majorly because a lotician told her that she'll be needing to cut her locks and I was like why would you want to cut your locks and she said because um, she she discovered she had lice on her hair okay that um, first of all when, when it started it was really itching her she had this really itchy scalp okay and then she had to go to a lotician she thought maybe she was reacting to something and the lotician said no she can't find anything that she was clean she went home but that evening she was sleeping and then she she scratched her head and yeah yeah there there was lice yeah lice right that was my reaction too because you know, like lies with her kids and uh, because i remember then i know lies i usually thought lies was just for children because of the the playing with other children and the close contacts and all but apparently not 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 for children though adults can have lies you can have lies anyone can have it you don't have to be dirty it hasn't even been dirty at all it doesn't you you can get lies from from visiting a lotician maybe based on instruments being used with someone that has lies you share you share, you share instruments with other dreadlockers that too can 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 or you share your heart with someone who has lies or you visited someone you rest just a car anywhere okay so you don't have to be dirty because the lights they like they, they like clean and dry environment so you don't have to be dirty to get lights it has nothing whatsoever to do with that okay but I'm just gonna share this with you we are going experiencing the same thing as my sister if you you, you you don't have to put your locks it's actually something that works that can help those of us with locks because going through the internet i could only see a bunch of stuff for but not for people with locks because basically lights you have to come out the outside of the lights itself you basically have to come out the needs because this one they stay attached to your locks they can only use the needs come to come that out but our hairs are locked we can't we, we, we can't afford to come i think maybe that's why most people do tell you you have lights you have to cut you have to cut out your locks and stuff but no you don't so with this video i'm sure you can find a way you can try it out and hopefully it have worked for her could work for you too so this was what we did okay it took about a week to do this treatment so it's not what they say but first of all you, what you have to do is make sure you totally clean out your sheets do a change of bed sheets pillowcase your whatever you know you've used in a period of time wash in hot water not just any water because believe me those things you you it's 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 hard to kill them you you crush them you think they're dead but no you see them coming back to life that's how bad that's that's how bad they are so but this treatment works for her in a period of a week so let 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 hope it works for you too so what we did first we do we, we did apple cider with salt treatment mayonnaise treatment and then the final step was crosshair treatment so what we did at first was we did uh, a mixture of salt and apple cider spread all over our hair and let that sit for an hour 30 minutes in the shower cap because probably if you don't have a shower cap you can use a, a plastic bag or anything whatever is available to you okay that's not a problem so but we use the shower cap to cover our hair for an hour 30 minutes wash it off she went to home came back the next day and then we did a mayonnaise treatment okay so rubs mayonnaise all, all over our hair i think we use about a full jar and concentrating mostly on the scalp and then the strands because it's good for moisture too so we did that covered the hair up with shower cap and she went home that's we let sit overnight she came back the next day at about noon and then yeah there were a lot of dead lights on her hair so we washed it, uh, the mayonnaise out, dusted the dead lights off, and um, that was good. But uh, mind you, the apple cider vinegar and salt didn't really do nothing for the lights itself. But that did a very great and fantastic job for the needs. Yes, it did. Okay, because by the by the next day, we discovered that the needs, the eggs were pretty dry. 
but I guess based from the dehydration from the salt and um, and the apple cider vinegar, I think that really dehydrated the egg, so they couldn't survive it. So that was a win. Okay, so you might want to follow up with the um, Mayo treatments immediately, maybe the evening when your hair is dry. Find that if you're, you're so uncomfortable to to be patient to the next day, but she wasn't she, there wasn't more time for her, so we had to roll it over to the next day to do the mayonnaise. So we did that. She let it sit to the the, the following day. We washed it out. Then she went home, came back to this later. We did the apple cider vinegar and salt again. That allows it for a longer time to be sure we we'll get we have gotten rid of all nits. Okay, so those those things don't hatch and then we're starting all over again. So we did that apple cider vinegar, but this time we stay let it stay longer for about two hours. Okay, and then we washed it off. She went home, came back the next day, we did the mayonnaise again, and then she went home with it, slept with it overnight, came back, we washed it, and then I am telling you she was a hundred percent a hundred percent light and meat free she didn't have to cut a lot right we we're able to get rid of the light and the meat from her lot okay so after that we had to follow up with the hot hair treatment because her hair was pretty dry out from the apple cider vinegar and salt and i know that must have really dehydrated her lot so we had to follow the hot hair treatment using using coconut oil olive oil tea tree oil peppermint oil lavender oil okay so we'll mix this in a straight in a spray bottle put in a cup of hot water for, for a few seconds so about a minute to to get warm and please be sure to test the temperature before you use it on your hair so you don't end up on your scalp okay so so we apply this oil all over our hair Cover with a cap. We use the steamer cap for 15 minutes. But if you don't have a steamer cap, like I said, you can use a rubber bag or a shower cap. But you might need to wear that overnight to the next morning. But in this case, we are using the steamer cap, so we did that for 15 minutes and then um, rinse the oil out. Very really rinse it out. Okay, and then she was good to go. So I don't hear. Thank God this. This is a win. Why not just share this with everyone, okay? Because someone might be going through the same thing and you might need this. I don't want, want you to cut your locks, okay? So, I thought to share that. So, if you're having e the same issue, you're having challenges with light, with it needs, I hope you find this video useful. But um, in case this video is not explanatory enough, you can always send me a message and be sure I will respond to you, okay? All right, so... Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. All right, thank you.